I'm previously on Coffee Chin TV. So it doesn't really preheat the machine. The heater purely doesn't work at all. My jacket. Ah, hat thing on. So I'm gonna make like normal temperature of coffee with the same profile on here. So that's 88 degrees Celsius, which is the default for the Gentry Sweet profile. And then I'm gonna do the cold, cold water profile on here. So we can see how the temperature changes the extraction. I'm gonna use 16 grams of coffee from here. 18.5 uh, on niche. 16.5 in here. There you go. Shake, shake, shake. Puck break, puck break, puck break. Gentle tap. So there you go. First one. And the second one. Another 16.5 grams. 16.6, but really slight. Very nice. Put it in and cut. I set both machine stop automatically at 36 grams. Let's get started. Temperature is dropping. Can you see temperature is dropping rapidly actually? Yeah, it's coming out right now and the extraction is quite fast. Wow, 36 already done. And the same extraction, but it's really slow. It's slower than this one. Wow, this is cool. And it's done now. 36.4 grams on here, 36.5 grams on here. And the crema, the color of the crema is much darker. It's much brighter, right? Ah, same profile, but different temperature makes this much of different. How about taste? Mmm, pretty nice coffee actually, but it sort of have like fishy aroma in it. I think it's sort of burnt aroma, but it's overall like it has got like a lot of sweet aroma, chocolatey, but it's actually it's not sweet and it can be quite too much when it cools down. How about really like cools down already coffee? I think the water already inside the machine, some of the water left in the machine is kind of like warm. Hmm. Yeah, it's weirdly better. This one actually for me, much easier to drink. The acidity is much brighter. Coffee itself doesn't have like really that good acidity. So this one is for like latte. This one is much richer in good way because it shows the sweet aroma more than this one. But the aroma is like much lighter. So I can like smell it clearly. The body is much lighter. And it has got the aftertaste, but this one has got like much longer and like richer aftertaste. If it's like more concentrated, then it can be like this. I can totally feel that. If you watched my concentration video, you already understand it though. The temperature changed the concentration, but overall the like total shot time is longer and the flow rate is like lower. So that means it extracted more coffee material from the coffee because the pressure didn't go up. I think that's the guess. I think that's the guess, that's right. That's the result number one. Overall extraction was quite fast. So I want to make it slower. So I'm just gonna change the like grinder point to 15. It was like 18.5, so it's like quite big gap. So let's do this. <gasps> yeah, cold water, this is cold freaking hell. Can you see how the temperature drops? Now it's 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that means the water is like even colder. So I'm um, guessing it'll be slower. Yeah, there you go. The flow rate goes down by like slower than before and the pressure keeps the coffee temperature is lower. It's like now 18 degrees Celsius, but I don't think it can go like lower than that. And this is a result. Actually, it's darker than the previous one as the extraction went longer and it keep the consistent pressure mm, colder. Oh, what? Man, I've got to admit that emptier. Emptier than the even previous one, the 20 something the recessious one, even though it was like shorter and that was heavier than this one. And it had like more aroma, more taste, like acidity was quite bright and clear. But this one is almost like tea. It has really gentle chocolatey aroma and slight of fruitness aroma in there. A bit of acidity and bitterness. It has aftertaste, but it's really weak. It lasts quite long. What about this? If I make the same grinding point with the high temperature, would it make even slower shot? Let's try out. Oh uh, yeah, definitely much slower than this one. 
temperature does something. It reached time first. It even it couldn't reach the goal weight. So it ended at like 13.4 grams. It reached like 55 seconds, which is the like time setting for the gentleman switch. And yeah, see that, see that, see that. Darker, darker, darker. I think it's just darker because it's just, we call it tiger skin and it just fine kind of like pushed out from the basket holes so that's just fine so oh yeah in bit ah. you know when coffee is extracted really long or when the coffee ground is really fine and make espresso it has really kind of weirdly like too much filling it's not the, about the thickness but it's more about the gas too much gas is coming into my mouth kind of thing and this one is the same a weird coffee is freaking weird guys thank you for watching peace out oh shoot warm 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 in the next video i'm gonna talk about the temperature so i can explain about the difference between cold espresso and hot espresso and then i'm gonna tell some more things in there if you like the video please click the like button and if you subscribe my channel, as soon as I upload a new video, then you can watch it uh, right away. Thank you for watching. Peace out.